Our story starts with our two main lead characters, Hong Hae-in and Baek Hyun-woo. They are married since three years. She is from a rich family contrary to Hyun-woo, who is from a rural family. They met when she worked at her family business, Queen's Group. She was known as an ignorant and obnoxious person. He used to help her in doing things until he liked her and confessed his love to her. After three years of marriage, their relationship gets worse with time. When he was about to get a divorce, he learned that she had a rare tumor and she had only three months to live. He decided to continue as a couple until her death. As time passes, a new character appears in Song. He is her ex-boyfriend and a businessman. Their threads intertwine again. She invites him to her family's annual hunt. While she is hunting, she starts hallucinating because of her tumor. A boar attacks her, Hyun Woo arrives in time and shoots him. Meanwhile, she remembers before four years, when he gives her a tour in his hometown. At that time he thought she is poor, he tries to show her that he will provide her all things she hasn't. While they are walking, going back to the house where they are staying, Hyun's ankle is sprained. Hyun Woo carries her. Hong family is surprised to see Hyun Woo carrying Hyun. Su Chiol informs his mother and his grandfather's girlfriend Sul Hee that a boar attached Hayin. Sul Hee informs the chairman, saying that the shaman was right not to go to the haunting, as Hayin was on the chairman's hunting route and got injured. Hayin's father compliments Hyun Woo, as he managed to shoot a boar. Hayin mentions that Hyun Woo was a marine in the special guard team and known for his shooting. Hayin's aunt praises Hyun Woo that he isn't only successful at his job and studying, but also, he has strong muscles and body. Elsewhere, Hyun Woo inspects the hunting area where Hayan was attacked. He finds the fence is opened and there is a road of food to guide that boar to enter the hunting area. The attack seems deliberately. At dinner, Hyun Woo informs Hong family about the boar accident and the fence was pried open. Grace takes the mission to check dash cameras. On the dinner table, Hayan's father is obvious that he cares about Hyun Woo, contrary to Hayan's mother who cares about In Sung. Unsel opens up that he is not an American citizen, but he was adopted when he was 13 years old. His parents passed away before he graduated from the university, leaving him alone with no family. The chairman says that he also lost his parents when he was 15. The family praises Unsun that he is a self made man and asks him to consider them as his family. The chairman notices an employee's dog, he likes that dog. He offers to buy that dog, but the employee refuses, saying he considers that dog as a family. Later, Unsung goes to the employee, offering to buy that dog with 100 million won. The employee hesitantly agrees to sell that dog. Su Chiol and his wife sit around the table. She acts like a loving, intelligent and perfect wife from a rich family who even doesn't drink alcohol. It turns that his wife's father is an Ivy League professor. She opens up that she is fluent in Korean because she was only allowed to read and speak Korean at home. After Su Chiyo leaves, she changes 180 degrees. She drinks two glasses of beer and complains how Su Chiyo is chatty. Although Hyun Woo is afraid to be in the same room as Hyun, he finally goes back to the room. She asks him to unbutton her. She asks him to take a shower before going to the bed. She gets mesmerized how he becomes more handsome after taking the shower. They share the same bed. She reminds him the first night, they slept together at the same bed and they cuddled each other until they slept. She suggests cuddling him, but she rushes, saying it's a joke when she sees that he is scared. Following day, the employee and his wife meet Unsung, asking him to retrieve their dog and giving him his money back. Although he agrees, he wants to kill the dog. Hyun Woo comes in time, he handles the situation. The employee takes his dog. Hyun Woo tells Unsung that he can't kill the dog. Unsung questions if it's alright to kill an abandoned or stray dog. Nearby, the employee and his wife overhear Unsung. The Hong family sees the CCTV footage about the boar accident. They find a masked man who cuts the fence. The chairman thinks it's his eldest son who wants to kill him. The dog owner reminds his wife with a boy who lived at the orphanage several years ago. That boy said the same words as Eun Sang that if it's alright to kill an abandoned or stray dog. Later, Eun Sang calls Hayan that he has fixed an appointment with her sinus CEO. She checks her emails and gets disappointed to find that there is no cure for her illness. At the company, she keeps thinking about Hyun Woo, how he looks handsome, and she wants to hug him. She also feels sympathy for other people. She visits the doctor, telling him about her symptoms of empathy. 
asking him if it's related to her illness, but she leaves when the doctor is unable to help her. Hyun Woo accompanies Byung Joon, Hyun's father, to meet his elder brother. His brother mentions that he went that day to the hunting site to meet his fahir but Sul he told him that his father was asleep, so he went without seeing his father, he just to reconcile with his father. His brother emphasizes that he isn't the one who cut the fence and entered the boar. Hyun Woo and Hyun's father leave. Hyun's father go back to his house, he asks Sul he if his brother wanted to meet his father, but she stopped him but she denies. Later, Hyun's mother asks Grace go to gain more information about In Seoul. Grace tracks him, but she is caught by him. She tells him that Hyun's mom wants to know more about his background. At a crowded restaurant, Hyun Woo meets his friend Yang Ji-i. Hyun Woo talks to him about the boar that attacked Hyun and how her family becomes treat him good after the accident. Yang Ji-i tells him to take advantage of this opportunity by emphasizing that he did an amazing job saving Hyun and he could die by the boar. At Hyun Woo's hometown, his brother's boxing business is shrinking. His sibling, brother, and sister decide to go to meet Hyun to convince her not to get divorce. They can't tell her because she has an important meeting. Hyun Woo's sister decides to text Hyun about the divorce. Elsewhere, Hyun goes to the meet Mr. Harmon, the CEO of her Sina, but she finds only Eun Sang and a CEO has left because of a family matter. Eun Sang gives her exclusive details about her Sina and how to win the deal against her competitor. Hyun Woo is learned that his sister met Hyun. He calls Hyun, but he finds her phone is unreachable because Eun Sang powers her phone off while she is outside. At home, while Hyun Woo is waiting for Hyun, she arrives drunk along with Eun Sang. Hyun Woo gets upset. It's obvious that Eun Sang wants to make Hyun Woo and Hyun to split. After Eun Sang leaves, while Hyun Woo accompanies Hyun to the house, she talks to him that she wants to try new things. Meanwhile, he is trying to find her phone to delete the divorce message from his sister. He can only corner her and throw her phone away to prevent her from checking the messages. Hyun repeats her words that she wants to try new things and kisses him. After the kiss, Hyun Woo follows Hyun trying to reach her phone to delete the message. He sneaks into her room while she takes a shower. He can guess the password correctly and manage to delete the divorce message. While he is leaving, she catches him. She misunderstands it, she thinks that he is trying to get closer to her. Hyun Woo manages to escape of her when he reaches his room. He remembers that Hyun password 1031 is the date of expecting their baby birth date. He remembers how they were exited to their baby. At Hyun Woo's hometown, Hyun Woo's sister tells her family about Hyun Woo's divorce that Hyun Woo mentioned his divorce despite she doesn't know anything about the divorce. Hyun Woo's sister also adds that Hyun told her she will visit them in the hometown. Outside of this discussion, Hyun Woo's mother remembers the day of her son's marriage. She remembers how Hyun's mother isn't accepted her son as her son-in-law, and there is a big difference between their families not only because of money, but also familial affection. The next morning, Hyun Woo feels attracted to Hyun. He stands in front of her office, thinking how she is pretty when she smiles. He feels worried when she falls on the escalator. He buys her new shoes. At the same crowded restaurant, he talks to his friend about this accident. He says he buys her new shoes, but she said she has a lot of shoes in her closet. He tells her that she wears shoes with high and thin heels, and that is dangerous. He mentions that she wore his shoes, and he was so happy. He tells him he felt bothered when he saw Hyun with Insang together at work. His friend tells him that he probably that he falls in her love, but he denies. Later, while Hyun and Insong are in their way to meet her sign as owner, Jae gets upset when she refers to her shoes that her husband bought those for her as he was worried on her. Eunsung helps Hyun to get the deal by telling her a secret about the owner that he has a mistress. She actually did what he told her before, and a her sign as owner glares at Eunsung as he is the only one who knows this. At the elevator, he says that he is still has many cards to play with. She replays that he changes a lot. While Hyun Woo buys peanuts cakes for her, she calls him, saying she has good news for him. His friend and he predict that she will give him her assists. He goes happy to the house. He opens the file, gets shocked that one of the big organizations agreed to work on a cure for her. The chance that this cure will succeed is over 50%. He gets shocked and he is about to cry because the hope of his survive fades. He runs while he screams. He imagines two scenarios. If she gets cured and he doesn't divorce her, he will have to live in this trouble live forever. Scenario 2, if he divorces her, 
he imagines her that she will kill him. In the morning, Unsung meets Heian in her house, Hyunwoo feels bothered for seeing them together. Hyunwoo brags that she knows what he loves while Unsian brags that she always asks for his help, so he sticks with her all the time while he is in Korea. In the kitchen, Hyunwoo asks Heian why she didn't yell at Unsian when he touched her hair at the mall contrary to what she did when he touched her hair. He tells her to yell at anyone, touching her hair. She doesn't say anything to him, but she smirks after she leaves. While Unsung and Heian are discussing business, Unsung notices Hyunwoo is watching them through the windows, so he closes it and Hyunwoo gets angry. He tries to overhear them, but he fails. Suchiol tries to get close to Unsung and make business with him, but it seems that he isn't very interested. Hyunwoo meets his friend. He talks to him about Unsung. His friend says it's better for him if Heian and Unsung falls in love. Hyunwoo seems displeasure and replays that there is something creepy about Unsung. Grace Go shows Heian's mother some pictures for Unsung with influential people. Grace talks about how Unsian is known and influential. She hints that Heian doesn't want Unsung to make business with Su Chiol and wants to stop Su Chiol's project. Heian's mother faces Heian that she wants Su Chiol to stop his project and fails, so that will make the chairman is furious about him. Of course her mother is influenced by Grace's talks. Heian falls unwell, and when she is about to fall, Hyunwoo appears in time and stands her. He makes an excuse for them to leave. He suggests telling the family about her illness, but she admits that she doesn't want her parents to feel the losing of another child. She doesn't want to be a more terrible existence to her family. Elsewhere, Unsung, Grace Go, and the ex-director of the Queen's meet together. They are planning against the Queen's group. They will collect the Queen's shares by making a trap for the directors and leading them into putting their Queen's stocks as collateral. The directors will be unable to collect that much cash in days, and as a result, they will take the queen's stocks. By this time, they will manage to take over the queen's company. They are also planning to send the chairman to the prison. They will send the prosecution evidence, proving that the chairman siphons off the company funds. Biamja, Hayans and invites the chairman to a meal, tricking him to meet his elder son. This son sent prosecution evidence against his father as he thought that the chairman would pin the embezzlement charge on him. His son asks for forgiveness, but the chairman doesn't want to reconcile with him. The chairman goes back home. He finds Sulhi prepared a soup is similar to that soup which his mother used to prepare it when he was sick. At Queen's Cosmetics Department Group, two customers make a fuss. They want to refund a product which purchased it from eight months. One of them is about to hit the employee. In this time, Hayen was walking. She recognizes this employee, whose his mother has a cancer, and she needs money for her mother's surgery. She interferes, supports her employee, and asks the security to take the two customers to the police station. At Hyunwoo's hometown, Hyunwoo's father is aiming to win the head of the village's election, but his campaign is about to fail, and there are rumors that his daughter-in-law has never visited was never visiting the family since her marriage. Hyun arrives in time. It turns that Hyunwoo's sister sent her a message that her father is running the election campaign and needs someone influential, supporting him. She asks Hyun to come. Hyun invites the village to a feast and brings expensive supplements and cosmetics to the village members, as a kind of electoral propaganda. Hyunwoo's mother calls him that Hyun is in the village. Hyun goes to Hyunwoo's room and takes his MB3 player. While she listens to a song, she meets Hyunwoo's nephew for the first time. He asks her to take a ride in her car, she lets her driver do it. While she is back to listen her song, the MB3 player falls on the ground. She starts hallucinating that she is injured and full of mud. In this time, Hyunwoo was reaching the village. He goes to his house, finding his MB3 player is on the ground. He rides his bike, looking for Hyun across the whole town. He finally finds her. He was very worried about her and scolds her. At the beginning, she lies, saying she was just walking and he was upset and about to leave. Then she breaks down crying and saying she doesn't remember how that happened and how she got there. Hyunwoo, in a hurry goes back, hugs her and cries. Flashback to 2006. When Hyunwoo and Hyun met for the first time in the high school. That time, she didn't have friends and was about to leave the country to study abroad. Her classmates gossiped about her that she got mad after her brother's death. While she was leaving the school, she stumbled and fell on the ground. Hyunwoo gave her a bandage. She left and left her MB3 player on the ground. It is the same MB3 player that Hyun found in Hyun Woo's room and used it to listen to a song. 